please, let us take a moment of silence for the YouTubers that now post on TikTok. Thank you. It's like a fucking ASPCA commercial. It's weird, everyone on YouTube collectively took fat shits on Musical.ly, but now with TikTok, wait a second, can call that home. Everyone's going to TikTok. No disrespect for any YouTubers, anyone that does post on TikTok, it's just not my cup of cum, I'm not a huge fan of it. I think it's one of the, probably the second most humorless place on the planet, second only to Reddit. And it's just a barren wasteland of fun. Going through your parents' divorce is more fun than going through TikTok, at least in my opinion. I think it's all bad on there. And to showcase that, I'm going to show you some of the most popular trends going on right now that I was able to find, so uh, let's dive right in. Bravo, that was a, a fun TikTok for everyone to enjoy, especially the janitor, the worker that's going to have to go and clean that up because your affluent ass definitely isn't going to be bothered to do it. Uh, that really kind of sums up the, uh, the comedy on TikTok. This will be hilarious just pouring this liquid into the glass until it overflows and gets on the floor and makes someone else clean it up. Yeehaw, baby, rebellious nine-year-olds for the win, except I'm 24 years old and I have a kid and I'm really trying my best to be famous on the internet. Better do this challenge on TikTok. So you'll never guess the name of this one. It's called the Spill the Drink Challenge, and there's music that plays, but I can't play it because it's a copyrighted song, but it says, Hose, and that's while they're pouring it the whole time, and it's drawn out. This shit is genius, a fucking masterpiece. A beautiful challenge, just doing it right there in the middle of McDonald's, making sure to get everyone in the crowd involved, you know, getting water or Sprite on everyone, which is exactly what you want when you're just going about your day, trying to get some cheap-ass food. Yep, that's what I want to feel like my feet are getting pissed on. Great stuff. To be fair, this is the only one of this challenge I saw that was done in a public location. Everything else was staged with their family or their friends in their own house and using water or coke for the most part. So this was just a real pioneer who decided to take it to the next level and do it in public and make everyone uncomfortable and be a public nuisance for the internet clout. I'm not going to play any more from this challenge because you get the idea. Every single one is just staring at the camera and overfilling a glass. It's fucking awful. Let's move on to a different one. You're so bad. And baby, I want you so bad, yeah. You're so bad, yeah. And baby, I want you so bad. You're so bad. And baby, I want you so bad, yeah. You're so bad, yeah. And baby, I want you so bad. I should have warned you to come in here with a change of panties because we're all getting wet with this challenge. This is the You So Bad, I Want You So Bad challenge. And I'd be lying if I said I didn't put butterflies in my nutsack. Man, what a confidence booster. It's like, damn, all these dudes looking at me like this saying they want me. I, I'm so bad and they want me bad. Like, god damn. You so bad. And baby, I want you so bad, yeah. You so bad, yeah. And baby, I want you so bad. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Those are children. Those are kids. I feel like even having watched this clip in the middle of a compilation puts me on a list. I also don't really know when Bass Pro Shop became like acceptable fashion. When I was growing up, the only time you'd ever see anyone in Bass Pro Shop gear is if they were kissing their sister and 40 years old with a beer belly. I can't imagine kids now are wearing Bass Pro Shop merch, but hats off to Bass Pro Shop for breaking into a young, younger demographic. You so bad, and baby I want you so bad, yeah. You so bad, yeah. and baby I want you so bad. There is no greater mystery in this world than the one that you see before you. How do you get more than one person to be in your shitty TikTok? How does no one along the way say, hey guys, this sucks. Why are we doing this? This is embarrassing. Why is there no sense of shame when it comes to TikToks? I'm always surprised when there's more than one person in a TikTok. I get why one delusional person might think it's a good idea, you know, fucking biting on their lip and lip syncing and shit. I get that. But when you bring in like three other people, how does not one of them say, this is dumb. This sucks shithole. But hats off to them. Like, you know, you got three dudes gathered around with their red solo cup trying to give the illusion that they're drinking alcohol, but they're clearly under 21, clearly under 18. So they're most likely just in there with fruit punch or root beer. And then you have one dude dance around the back. I mean, even scripting that and telling your friends what you're going to do. How does no one just say, no, thank you. This is embarrassing. But whatever, group TikTok effort, very popular, hats off to them, they're having fun. I feel like such a fucking boomer shitting on new generation entertainment, but I just don't get it. I don't know who's scrolling through TikTok, stops on this one, gets a big old smile on their face and leaves it a heart. Like, there's just, there's no joke there. 
I hate when the joke is the song or like a goofy dance. I hate that. I fucking hate it. That is my least favorite form of comedy. Big on Instagram, big on TikTok, was big on Musical.ly, which is TikTok. Just not, not for me. We'll move on from this challenge, though, and go to another doozy. Another real uh, banger of a challenge. Oh, no. Do you smell that? They're coming. Be gone, thoughts. Go away. I'm a man of God. Oh, no. Do you smell that? They're coming. Be gone, thoughts. Go away! I'm a man of God. This is a challenge that I guess is there for people that are on TikTok to look at girls, but I have to wonder who goes on TikTok to look at girls? What the fuck is the point of that when the internet exists? There's millions and millions of girls on the internet doing all kinds of crazy shit. You can find pretty much anything to suit your degenerate taste. Brazilian fart porn if you're into that. You can watch a girl put Fruit Loops into her gaping asshole while another girl puts a spoon in there and eats them out. You can watch a girl putt golf balls into another girl's gaping asshole. There is anything. The sky is the limit. Why go on TikTok? Why roll those dice? Those girls could be 14 years old, you fucking weirdos. It just makes no sense. I don't know who's going on TikTok to look at girls. I thought TikTok was supposed to be for, like, humor and shit, but it's clearly not because there is no humor. It's fucking awful. Let's keep going. Catbug! <gasps> I need a bath. Yeah? yeah. If that's not illegal, it certainly should be soon. Well, I think this has been enough to make my point. There is nothing good on TikTok at all, unless you're like a predator, maybe. I, I just don't get it. I never really thought I'd reach the age where I didn't understand new stuff. Like growing up, I was always like, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. That'll never happen. I'll always be with the times and understanding everything and being able to partake in technology and shit. But now I totally fucking see it. I get why boomers don't understand how to use a fucking cell phone. I get it. I am finally at a point where I just don't understand something that younger people like. It's, f it's a fucking sad feeling. Getting old. And it's gonna happen to you too if you're young and watching this. Don't think that it's only boomers. It's gonna be you too, you fucking loser. You're also going to get to the point where you're like, Oh my god, what is the younger generation doing? This, this makes no sense to me. It's gonna happen. I, I definitely see it just being a natural order of things now. I get it. And it sucks. Also, TikTok fucking sucks. It's, you know, it's not me. It's not, it's not boomers that are the problem. It's the younger generation with shit taste. TikTok sucks. It's bad. That's it. See ya.